Hello kittens. Okay, so I have to get ready to film a video for um, the company and I need to put makeup on anyway. And so I am going to do it here with you because I had a lot of people after my live on Tuesday talk about the Camo Bridge Pop method that I used and they were curious what colors they had would work for those 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 things. Like, did they have a bright enough pop color? What pop color do I recommend? So I'm just going to go through it again really quick. Um, uh, I'm not going to do a lot of extra stuff, but I'm just going to focus on that again and talk about the colors. Look at what you have. See if colors you have you feel fall into those categories. You probably do. If you still just have one or two colors, you may have to add one, but that's not a big deal. But we're going to talk about that and please, please, please reach out to me if you have any questions. It's kind of early for me getting on here doing this. Yes, I have a Brady Bunch mug and no, Mike is not in it. Is Carol? No, so here, okay, here we go. The family picture. Mike's not in it. And the only reason I'm guessing, it, Mike's supposed to be right there above Jan, next to Greg. The only reason I think he's not in it is because when they did this, he was already gone, and maybe they had to get his uh, permission to use his picture on a mug. I don't know, I don't know, but it doesn't seem right. So I just always look at the picture of them on the swing set. <laughs> yes, I love the Brady Bunch, it's no secret. One of my favorite shows. Okay, so <clears throat> back to the makeup. The Camel Bridge Pop is a method that has been used by a lot of us for a long time. We just never gave it a name. And so Rachel Jacob, who is the creator's sister, and my, um, she's, she's like the makeup guru. She's actually a professional makeup artist. And she actually has perfected this and get, given it a name uh, because it's, it's kind of fun to say, <laughs> Camel Bridge Pop. And it does have, it all has meaning. Here's what it is. It's three colors. And you guys know I never recommend less than two. I often recommend three. So it's not like it's a departure from anything that I normally do. But it, they all have purpose. Okay? So still using the colors in my compact, I'm going to show it to you. So I've got my colors here. Starting with the camo color. Let me put this hair back a little bit. Starting with the camo color. The camo color is going to be your darkest color, whatever that is in your compact. So you look at your colors, determine what the darkest one is. And I know sometimes it's hard to tell if they're close. I can help you. If you want to DM me your colors and show them to me, I can tell you which one is your uh, camo color. So here's what we do. We just place the colors first. We just put them on our face. We and then we leave it alone. We let it sit for a minute, we let it warm up but with the heat of our face, and then when the time comes for us to blend, it is beautiful and soft and easy to move around. So I'm gonna look at the places that I need to cover. I've got, I have woke up with a little blemish right there. So darkest color is what's going there. So darkest color, I'm just patting on, okay? I'm not necessarily blending. I'm putting it on my nose, and anywhere I have red, I always got red kind of on my chin. I'm just pop, like, we're just like popping it on. I've got a little red patch there. This is the buff brush. I talked about this the other day. It is on clearance still. I checked. Always check under your nose because usually we all have redness right under here. Well, not all of us, but a lot of us do, okay? Uh, it's still in the clearance. It will be the old color, which is still beautiful. And it's actually still may, may match brushes you have if you've, if you've been around a while. The brush has got a makeover and now they're a different color. Same brush though, okay? But the old ones, the old colors are on the clearance for 40% off. Now, where else can I use my, my camo color other than areas where I've got, you know, melasma or redness? It's my under eye. So I'm going to put it right where I've got darkness under my eye. Why? Because dark covers dark better. You guys have heard me say that many times. Now, we're not getting into specific color correction like we do with Demi. Demi is the other product um, line that this company has that I, I have as well. You can go into my highlight bubbles and watch me apply Demi and talk about it. That is a specific color theory system to filter away specific colors on your face. It works and it's amazing. 
but we're not doing that with this makeup because this makeup wasn't really designed for that, okay? However, that being said, the, the theory of putting your darkest color where you have the darkest colors on your face does work. So I'm seeing all this kind of dark, mulchy, purpley color. That's where I'm putting my darkest color because it will cover it, okay? Now, I'm going to do my contour real quick. So just getting away a little bit from the um, Camo Bridge Pop, and I'm just going to tap a little contour here, little contour here. Just find your cheekbone and go right underneath it, and don't come down too low, okay? We're just placing it for now. We're going to blend later. Starting at the hairline, bring it down. All the way at the hairline and down. Remember I told you yesterday, take the arches of your eyebrow, make a triangle. Anything inside that triangle, <clears throat> we don't put contour. It goes everywhere else on the outside, okay? So I'm going to lift up my hair here, right along the jaw, uh, hairline and down. We start up here because we want it to fade kind of as we come down. So the darkest part's going to be high and then we bring it down. All the way down here between our eyebrows. This is going to create dimension to our forehead. It's going to bring light to the center of our face. Do you see how this is staying nice and bright? Right there. Okay, now we can go back and finesse this later if we want to, but let's just leave it now and place it and move on. Okay, now let's go to the pop. The pop is going to be our brightest color. Okay, my brightest color that I ever use is linen. But here are other pop colors that you can use. Linen, moonlit, white peach, sunlit, aura, if you have a little bit of a darker complexion. Okay, those are all very good pop colors. So here's linen right there. Take a little bit with still staying with this small end of the buff brush. I'm going to pop it right there on the outside of my eye. This is going to bring light to my eyes without feeling like I have to put all this light color underneath my eyes, which actually will do me no favors, okay, at all, okay? Right there in the center, right there in the center. You know, I skipped my bridge of my nose here with my camo color. I'm just going to bring it down there because it's a little red, okay? And then I like to put actually my pop color also kind of along here, just above my jawline. Uh, some people like to put it kind of right there on the side of their nose. It gives a little contouring, uh, maybe right here. Okay, done. So I've just got some points of light. Do you see that? I've just got some points of light now around my face, okay? Now, the last color we're going to put is the bridge. What's the bridge color? It's the middle color. It's the color in between. And that's basically just going to be popped where I've got nothing else. So here, okay, here, you're going to look and see all the, all the blank spots. That's where you're going to put this. So here. Uh, kind of here. That's it. I mean, you really just are kind of traveling around and checking to see where you have no product. Kind of above that, right underneath that contour. So the beauty of this method, again, girls, is that you, this looks wild right, <laughs> right now, right? It's not going to be. The reason we do it like this um, is because this forces your hand to get away from applying all those layers on your skin. And I know this is important for people to get because the only way we've ever been taught to put makeup on in the past is how. We take one color foundation, we put it all over our face, from our scalp to our chin and from ear to ear, right? No, no spot left behind, it's just everywhere. Then we start putting things on top. We put the contour on top. We put the, bu the blush on top. We put the highlight on top. We put the bronzer on top. I mean, all of a sudden, we've got five layers on our face, right? I have all, the I've got blush left. That's all I've got to do, but I'm going to do that at the very end. I've got all those components on my face 
but none of them are on top of each other. They're all just in one layer, right? Okay, right. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna stick with this brush for just for, for a few minutes, and I'm going to start blending all these colors together. So I'm gonna start into my eye, okay? And I'm just kind of pressing. I'm really not swiping. I'm just pressing it and tapping it. Look how beautiful that blends. And look how I've retained that sort of brightness, okay? Kind of up here. I'm just sort of doing this little tapping, stippling, Morris code. Look at that. It just starts to just, and here's why this is so easy and pretty. The warmth of my skin has warmed all this up. It's had time to sort of melt into my face. Okay, just travel around. The beauty of all these colors is if they mix a little, that is just fine. Nothing wrong with that. So they're all getting blended together. Okay, now I am going to take kind of a fluffy brush and just go over that contour a little and soften that a little. Look at that. Same thing up here. Now, this when I said you can go back and kind of finesse things, finesse your contour, you can do that now. So I am gonna go in and add just a little more contour. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. This is just sort of like just reevaluating a little what we did, adding more if we want. I'm gonna bring this down just a little, but I'm leaving my center alone because look how pretty and bright the center of my face is. The redness is gone across my nose. There's not any um, obvious darkness under my eyes. And I have it, trust me. Okay, I'm gonna bridge that contour a little bit right here. So this is just a way of showing you that you can have all the colors you want on your face without piling them on top of each other, right? Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of blush on. I'm gonna use Dahlia. Let me show you Dahlia. I used it yesterday, but I'm just kind of hooked on it. Bright pink, right? Looks like it would just be the craziest, brightest Barbie pink, but look how pretty that is on top of that contour. They just kind of marry together a little. I'm actually using a brush from the Demi line because it's become my favorite to apply blush. It's called the Shape Brush. I love it. I recommend everybody, it's double-ended like all of our brushes, but I think the size of it and just how it picks up the product is so pretty. So look at that beautiful pink on top of that contour. Now, let's add a little bit of um, bronzer and we're gonna be done. So I got my bronzer and my icon right next to each other, but do you see how beautiful this is blended? Just from popping the colors where they go, I'm not, I don't look tired. My under eye isn't dark. I've got little spots of light where I, just exactly where I want it. Try this method. I think you will really, really like it. So, whoops, wrong end. So fluffy end into both colors, just swirl them together. That's the beauty of having these colors right next to each other. Swirl them together and you just create a masterpiece. This. When we do our makeup like this, it really, really is like creating a, a work of art. In other words, we're not just paint, we're not painting the side of a house, ladies. When we put makeup on our face, we're not just stuccoing a wall to give it smoothness. We're not just slapping paint on a wall. This, these, this is our face and it deserves to have the parts of our face that we love emphasized. And when we do it this way and we keep the light in the center of our faces, that's exactly what we're doing. This is my bronzer. I'm just bringing down my neck. 
because I like that bridge of my neck not being too <laughs> too light comparison to everything else. Now, bronzer is very, very um, personal. You can keep going and add as much as you want. By all means, have fun with Bella Bronzer, okay? So, guys, this method, the bridge camo, sorry, camo bridge pop, is something I would love for you to try. It's super easy. It's just another way to put your makeup on, but I promise you, once you get used to doing it this way, you will probably never go back because it, again, it forces your hand to avoid putting too much makeup on. When I touch my face, it doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel tacky. I don't feel like I need powder. It just, it just works. It just works. So reach out to me if you are unsure if you have all the colors you need. Summer is also coming. So if you were color matched in the winter time, it's very likely it's time for you to start thinking about getting a summer color. If you never go out in the sun and you never ever get any darker, that's fine. Um, but at least maybe grab a bronzer and icon to just give you a little bit of a glow if that's something that you like. But reach out to me. I'm happy to help you. If you've not been color matched by me, reach out to me. Let's get this makeup on you. By summertime, you will have found the recipe and and the tricks that, and everything you need to have the makeup that's going to, it's going to change everything for you. I promise it really is. So again, reach out if you have any questions about this. Guys, stay tuned tomorrow. I'm going to have a really fun um, tutorial for you. And I don't really know what I'm doing. So there's the teaser if you missed that yesterday. So guys, have a great, beautiful Thursday.